hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well so exciting we are doing september's budget which yeah i'm really excited about if you didn't know september is my birthday month um i am a libra if anyone is interested i mean i don't believe that to be honest but you know i still <laughs> i say i don't believe it or anything which i don't but i always do look at um like you know the traits and things like that it's just quite fun but yeah <laughs> um so today is september's budget and i am using my budget book which is in my shop i'm just in the middle of creating the next three months um i'm really exciting i have brought some a5 croc binders i'll just quickly show you the black one hope it's in frame but yeah so i'm also going to offer these these are gonna i need to sort that out um they are going to be a little bit more than these just because they are more expensive but yeah i think they're really really cute and they make it look really fancy so yeah so um they will be coming soon i've still not got a nail on this because it's still really really sore um but yeah enough rambling let's just get into september's budget so this is for the month of september um but so basically my budget um goes from august the 24th to september the 24th so it's a little bit confusing <laughs> but um for the purposes of like youtube i just say like my september budget um but yes so i'm actually gonna take this out just because it's oh, a little bit easier So, um, my income from my full-time job, and this is what we are budgeting today, I kind of do my Etsy completely separately, um, we got £1,983, so that was the total because, yeah, I didn't put my mileage through or anything, so that is just like my basic pay, um, if that makes sense. So yeah, so a little bit less than last month, which it's all right because my birthday is actually in the next cycle so i can say that i'll treat myself if that makes sense um so cash envelopes let's get started so we've got petrol spending uh food eating out miscellaneous and boxing so I just actually double check and um, because I'm doing a lot of driving this month, I actually am going to budget £220 this month because I've got to drive to Essex and Kent. Um, yeah, it's going to use a lot of petrol and it's just getting, yeah, to fill my tank up now, it's like £75 to £80. So it is quite a lot. So that is why I've put a little bit more this month because I know I'll be driving quite a bit spending is also getting a little bit more than usual at 120 pounds again simply just because it's my birthday month to be honest so i just wanted to give myself a little bit more food is getting 100 pounds as normal miscellaneous is getting 20 and boxing is also getting 20 pounds because there is four weeks um and hopefully i do actually go <laughs> um so that comes to 400 and 80 pounds in total so 480 pounds into my cash envelopes moving on to my bills so i've got my car payment which is 342 itunes 2 pounds 49 netflix is 10.99 my like it's a rewards card thing is two pounds rent 
And what's good about this is I will literally just go, like, especially with my bills, I just always forget. I just reference um, what I did the previous month. So rent is £100. And then phone is 16.75 so that is all my uh, direct debits but then i also put my lifetime isa because i do that as a direct debit as well um and that is 125 pounds so let's add all of that up so that comes to 342 plus 249 Plus ten ninety nine, plus two pounds, plus a hundred pounds, plus sixteen seventy five, plus one hundred twenty five. So that comes to five hundred, five hundred and fifty seven pounds and sixty five p. I will just round that up to five hundred and sixty pounds. Just the tiniest buffer, um, but yeah. So, my income, minus 480 for my cash envelopes, take away my bills, leaves me with £943 to stuff in debt, savings challenge and sinking funds. Sinking funds, I always do last. Um, debt, I don't actually think is getting anything this month, purely because... I am finishing my season's savings challenge, which will, you know, my credit card will be at zero. So I will have cleared that. So that is so, so exciting. Um, so my savings challenges, I'm going to just write down and I'll be back. So in my 52 week challenge, um, it is getting 135. Um, and I am, um, I know I've been following it like really well, but I'm actually going to change it up for this month just because um, I can't really afford to do um, what I was meant to. So I've just done like 40, 45 and 50, um, but I'm still on target to finish it. So that's absolutely fine. Um, my save 2022 is £190 this month. My 2022 savings, I'm just going to give 20 Christmas is going to be getting 75. Seasons is going to be getting 55 pounds. Um, and then next we have my new saving challenge, saving challenge, which is, oh, where is it? My autumn bingo. So we are going to scratch one together and let's see what we get this one's a little bit defected that is what is mine <laughs> because i didn't want to waste it although i'm putting some new grab bags up soon and um there are actually one or two in there so yeah so i'm just gonna get a coin from here So, mm, which one should we do? So, eh, what I've done is kind of allocated myself £25 for it. Anything that doesn't go into it, I will probably put towards, I don't know, another saving challenge or something. Who knows? Um, I don't know. Let's do this one. Sorry, I find it satisfying when you do all of it. <laughs> right, that, that's all right for now. So that is only £10. Cool. So £10 into there. Um, so then that does leave £15. So what I'm actually going to do is my £10 savings challenge is going to get £10. And 
yeah we'll make up that fight elsewhere but yeah so that is oh i really like that that was so fun um let me get that I can't get it around the corners, but it, it is still so cute. So yeah, little like pumpkin spice latte. I love them. Oh, um, yes. So how much is going into savings? So we have 135 plus 190 plus 20 plus 75 plus 10 and 10. So 20. So 495 pounds. So, again, what I just, what I just, when I, like, do this, I always just go back and just keep seeing how much we've got left. So, we've got £448 to go into my uh, sinking funds. So... I will put that as £445 into my sinking funds. So, let's start off. I'll write them down and I will just be right back. So, I'll just start off with my high priority sinking funds. So, my emergency fund is going to be getting £50. Pilates is, Pilates is like membership. My annual membership is getting £10. Vacation is getting 40, so is birthday, but actually, let me just double check that it's definitely 40 this month. Yeah, September 40, cool, okay. Shopping is getting 25. Car insurance is getting £60, car maintenance is getting 25 and car tax is getting 10 So, it was 448 but let's just do 445 take away 50 So, that leaves us with £185 to go into um, my lower priority so um the new one this is like a plug for um dion <laughs> I, think, I feel like i've mentioned it so many times um but so her uh treat yourself challenge i have decided i'm gonna buy myself some flowers and get a pedicure i don't know i've never had a um what is it called pedicure before i find it so awkward i'm so ticklish as well but like oh i don't know it low-key cringes me out the thought of someone like touching my feet but it's got to be done because like i bought loads of things that just were not working so i need to get them like properly done um and it's my birthday so i thought you know what it's a bit of a self-care so i'm gonna give myself 40 pounds because the ones i was looking at were like 35 and then i'll just spend a fiver on flowers because um, I wanted to get some new ones for my room. So yeah, so treat yourself is getting 40. So take away 40. Cool. So Aussie and Oreo is getting £10. Because uh, I did use their £20. Health is going to be getting £30. So £105. Um, beauty is just going to get 20 because I already have quite a bit in that um, and that would actually mean I could get my hair done but I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, spending is getting £50 and then that leaves 35 towards fun yes so I don't know if you just saw what I did there, but I just added them up. They came to 445. And then I added up everything else. And that comes to 1980 pounds, which leaves like, you know, a three pound buffer. But 
I don't really need that buffer if that makes sense but yeah so that is like zero based budgeting um and obviously you know my might look a bit different to you because um I don't know I live at home or whatever um <laughs> I don't really have anyone to think about other than myself um so yeah so turning it around <laughs> I have actually already spent um before I could even stuff these I had to get petrol um so yeah so let me just put the dates down so this budget's like I said August 24th to the 24th of September so let me just write everything down and if you were wondering I do do this on like a really good quality paper so like it doesn't um transfer like you can't really see the other side either oh, okay so i will actually get paid on the 23rd because the 24th falls on a saturday so yeah i'm just gonna put september budget so yeah so 24th to the 22nd really sad my birthday's not on the september spread my birthday's on a monday how sad um <laughs> So yeah, so like I said, I had actually already used some cash, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so then, also guys, um, I don't know if you're just like interested or whatever, I just thought I'd share, this is my monthly planner for like planning with Ella, YouTube, Instagram, Etsy. Uh, this is from Laura's Ticker Co. I'm covering up Saturday because I'm hoping to have new products each Saturday on my Etsy. Um, but yeah, I just thought if you use the code Ella15, you can get 15% off. And yeah, it's just really, really cute. Look at that little thing. So yeah, all my videos is going to be a video every Wednesday and every Sunday. I'm determined to be consistent with it because it really did pay off when I got paid from YouTube last month. Um, it really showed. Um, but right, enough rambling and going off for tangents. I'm just going to... Again, these highlighters are on my Etsy, and this is what I use as a key. I don't know where the purple is currently. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, let's just do spending. Food. Petrol. Miscellaneous. And boxing will be purple when I find it. Um, so, yeah. So, like, for example, I put £25 in my car. Am I spending? Oh, I already spent quite a lot of that. Literally on payday. Um, <laughs> I've got some stuff on Etsy. And from the charity shop, actually, I found some, like, a brand new blazer in the charity shop. Which is fab. So, my goals for September is pay off my credit card, which is so exciting. And then another goal is use my treat yourself on a birthday present for myself. And as we all know, I want the bag. But yes, we will see. And then lastly, um, hmm. Lastly, I'm going to just say, relate it to YouTube. And I'm going to say reach. Oh, I don't want to be too optimistic, but... Mm. I'm on like 3.5 now, so I don't, 500 in a month is quite a lot. So let's do 3.8 subscribers. That seems doable. Because it's actually really crazy, guys. This on the, I think it's the 23rd, is literally like my one year anniversary of like starting my YouTube, which is insane. So insane. Um, to think I started this a year ago and I'm still doing it. I've got an Etsy shop, like I'm doing so well with it. Honestly, like mind blown. 
yeah it's literally insane um so yeah so yeah that's so exciting i will be doing a giveaway and things so yeah so i'm just gonna pop this back in so yeah so that is my monthly budget all done for for september's budget and yeah i will see you guys in my cash stuffing um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, I hope you all have a fabulous month um, and reach all your goals, personal and financial. So yeah, um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.